Aloha everybody, Kai Waza with you. I hope you're having a good day and enjoying your sort of self-isolation that we're all pretty much going through at this time with the, uh, the virus and all. So you would think with uh, us being isolated in our homes more, we would be recording a lot more content, right? Because what else is there to do? But I haven't really been recording that much content, so sorry. Uh, anyway, it's time to do another video of uh, my Hawaiian shirt collection. So I have what, six or seven shirts here today, and uh, I can tell you up front, every single one of the shirts I'm showing you today is a thrift store find. They all came from thrift stores today. So let's take a look at some more shirts. So this shirt comes from a company called Fly Shacker, so you can guess with that name probably it's a fishing shirt. And it is. I am not a fisherman by any stretch of the imagination. My parents used to fish when I was a little kid and my brother and I would go along and my brother would fish some, but I fished a couple times for like 10 minutes and just, no. I went off and did my own thing playing along the water far away from where they were fishing. Anyway, I love the color orange and I really like this shirt. <laughs> This one is from Iolani brand, which is a very well-known uh, maker of Aloha wear here in the islands, and it's it's a very heavy bark cloth. I have to say, I, I don't particularly like wearing this very often, <clears throat> excuse me, because it is so hot. It's heavy and it's hot, but it's quite beautiful with the uh, flowers here on the side. It's all black otherwise, a little bit on the sleeve. And then we'll look at the back. So this is a, uh, I would say somewhat standard issue Hawaiian shirt from Pierre Cardin, 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 whatever. Um, just different scenes with the palm tree on the beach, grass shack, and there's a canoe somewhere on here resting by the waterside in bamboo frames. Definitely a Hawaiian shirt you can wear to church or wear to the office. Now, if you're enjoying the music that you're hearing in the background, I should uh, let you know, if you don't know already, that I do have a uh, very large Hawaiian record collection. You can see part of it back there. That's only part of it. Um, and I have a radio station on live365.com that plays music all from my vintage Hawaiian record collection. It's called Hawaiian Hi-Fi. I'm going to link that in the description below and you can check that out if you want to. It's free to listen to and uh, yeah, so just letting you know. Let's um, look at some more shirts. Now this one is from the Royal Creations brand made in Hawaii. We have the coconut buttons on it. Um, very nice design, black background with the red and green flowers and palm trees. Kind of really a nice design. Now this obviously, because it's red and green, here in the islands a lot of people wear this color, these colors during the holiday season. Um, but of course you can wear them anytime. Here's a shirt, I can't, I'm not even sure what the label uh, is because I can't really read it other than it says shirtings and fresh something. I don't know. But 
This shirt, oh, I really, really love this shirt. Uh, has great imagery on it, nice color. The bright flowers juxtaposed to the sort of dark tiki images. And these are, um, and nothing on the sleeves there, plain. So these are definitely uh, not Hawaiian, but uh, you know, like Incan, Mayan, American tiki images. Yeah, I really, really like this shirt. This shirt is made by the Hinano Tahiti Company. It's also quite a pretty one with uh, Polynesian Tahitian designs and uh, some women on it that look sort of like a, you know, like a uh, imitating a wood block print sort of look. I like the colors on this. Not necessarily a fan of gray, but I think it works really well with these this design in these colors. Interestingly, this is a 2XL, which I find really funny because it's really just barely an extra large. On the bias is the name of the maker of this shirt. <clears throat> and I am, um, Normally I don't wear white. I really just like wearing white because I'm a messy person and I spill food and drinks and blah, blah, blah. And I just don't like to wear white. But this shirt was so beautiful. When I saw it at the thrift store, I just had to make an exception because I really, really like it. And it's, it's a shirt of like fruit and flowers, which is typical, but actually the shirt is very atypical because of some of what it features and just the design. It's very kind of classy, but different. I really like it. We see the grapes and flowers. We see a lemon. Not a real typical fruit to see on a Polynesian Hawaiian inspired shirt. It's something else you very seldom ever never. I don't have any other shirts that have mushrooms on them. <laughs> Well, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please press the like button, um, press the subscribe but bell button thing, whatever down there. Or is it over here? I never can remember when I'm doing this. Uh, to subscribe to my videos and the little bell to be notified when I make uh, a new upload, you can catch it right away. So uh, please comment if you have any of these shirts or any questions or ideas or thoughts about them or whatever. And, uh, yeah, let's just kind of hang in there and see what happens with this corona thing. I'm hoping uh, they'll turn the corner in a month or two, but, I mean, you never know. So we'll see how things go. So have a good week. We'll talk to you next time. <laughs>